Russell Gagan from Russell's Fishing Tech coming back at you with another video. I'm in what I consider the innovation building, so to say, right? Where all the magic happens right now, uh, where we do some of the painting um, or all of the painting of a lot of the salmon candy products. And really where a lot of coffee and maybe once in a while beer conversations go down and we, and we talk and, and create and come up with new patterns, new products, things like that. Um, and that's what this video is all about. This is one of my favorite videos of the year. I wait every year um, to put these videos out. And today's video is on the new, for 2023, flasher colors coming out from Salmon Candy. And we're going to specifically talk today about the 8-inch flashers that are releasing today on Monday, January 2nd. Um, these are the seven new colors that are going to be available for the 2023 season. All seven of these colors were tested last year by myself and our team of pro staff slash field staff um, who was out, uh, you know, running these patterns on Lake Ontario, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, um, and giving us feedback on probably over 30 to 40 patterns that we developed uh, to come out with the seven that we feel we wanted to produce for this season. Uh, these patterns will be available and are releasing today, like I said, on the 8-inch. They will also be coming out on our other uh, flasher sizes and designs, um, but we're talking specifically the 8-inch today. And the number one color, or the first color that I'm going to introduce, is the one that a lot of people are looking for, a lot of people are asking about, uh, which goes back to a salmon candy post that I made during the summer uh, of Jackson Penny, one of my good friends and one of our uh, pro staffers. Uh, who we blacked out this flasher, this particular color, um, on the largest king salmon that he has ever caught in his life. And that color is Optimus Prime. And Optimus Prime is the is basically a correlation, as you can probably see in the in the video here. It's a correlation of two of the greatest uh, flasher innovations that Salmon Candy has ever come up with. And quite frankly, I mean, this color was around before Salmon Candy even. It was I developed. Uh, these two colors uh, as a custom back with Michigan Stinger many years ago, uh, one of which is Megatron, and the other of is SGH, and that's what this flasher is. It's a correlation of Megatron and SGH combined on the front, and on the back, it has the lead with UV over it. So it's a very, very bright, shiny flasher. It's on a chrome blade. And this flasher was probably my best flasher for the end of June and through the entire month of July. It was dynamite on a wire dipsy for me. It was dynamite on a copper line for me. It was just a really, really good blade. Um, this is one you're going to absolutely want to have for the 2023 season. It's going to be a knockout. It's probably my favorite flasher on the sponge, to be honest. Although I am partial to a couple other ones in here as well that I'm going to talk about. But it is it's definitely a hard one to beat. Uh, as far as I'm concerned. The second one um, is us adding a new color blade, new color blank, which is black. Um, and it is Russell's Valium, which is a current pattern that we do already on a black flasher. And as you can see, that Russell's Valium uh, pattern has been around for a while. Um, I, I developed that years ago, and the thought process there was whatever color the blank was on the front, we've done this on chrome, we've done this on green, we've done this on chartreuse. We paint the back of the flasher white to give it a different look, a different profile, and as it spins, it definitely um, has a different look here. And this is a, a Russell's value on a black one now, so it's Russell's black value uh, on a black flasher, so it's got a black front, a white back with the patented crush gold tape and green dots. Uh, very, very good flasher for your July and August time period when those fish are starting to color up a little bit, get aggressive. Um, that is a, an ultimate uh, pattern and color for that time of year. Due to the success of another Salmon Candy proven pattern and developed pattern uh, that Salmon Candy came out with and innovated, the Songin's Bam, um, due to that... Uh, the success of that, we've decided to add not one, not two, but three new Song and Bam colors. We currently have the Chrome Song and Song and Chrome Bam and Song and Green Bam. Well, last year, as a special run for the um, Niagara Falls show that, and unfortunately, couldn't happen, we did a Song and Chartreuse Bam, and I think we ended up making about 200 of these or so. 
And it was, we got reports back that this was a fantastic flasher on Lake Ontario last year, uh, that the guys that did get their hands on this had tremendous success. So we decided to come out with this chartreuse, song and chartreuse band, as I think the Lake Michigan guys will also have some great success with this particular pattern. Um, so that's the first new addition to the song and band line. The second one is the one that I'll be honest, I'm personally the most excited about. This flasher, uh, in addition to another color, um, helped my uh, team win the Sheboygan Coldwell Derby last year. Uh, this was probably my, well, it wasn't probably, it was my best flasher in the months of August and September last year, basically everywhere I went on Lake Michigan. Um, but in, in particularly, I used it a lot at home in Sheboygan for that Cola Derby tournament, uh, fun fishing, charter fishing, and that is the Songin Black Band. And that's on a black blank. Um, it's the first time that we're doing, you know, black blanks in the Salmon Candy lineup, and I'm really excited about it. Black is a color blank-wise that is really, really good later in the season when those fish are maturing and getting ready to start to spawn. I'm not talking just September. I'm saying like late July into August. Um, it's an aggressive color. Uh, it's It's been a favorite of mine for years um, uh, with patterns like Black Mamba, um, things like that. I really have done well with black over the years on that later stages. And I'm telling you, during that Cold War Derby time frame, this flasher was a one-man wrecking crew. It was phenomenal. It was so hard for me to keep it a secret. Uh, between that Optimus Prime in, in June and July, and this thing in late July and August, um, it was it was maybe the hardest uh, time I've ever had keeping two flashers a secret. They've just been, these two were just absolutely lights out. Um, and then rounding out the third uh, and final addition to the BAM series, which will now give us five Song and BAM flashers. This one we did years ago as a special as well for the New York show, and it just, it fits in the mold, and that is the, the Song and White BAM. Everybody was asking for it, you know, on a white paddle. It makes total sense, obviously. Um, you know, we, we needed to have it, we felt. And it, it's obviously, it'll be a no-brainer. It's going to work. Um, I fished it this year. We had success on it uh, during that Cold War Derby time period again. And just in that August time period in general, we had the, the green BAM on. We had the chrome BAM on. We had the shirt BAM on. We had flat BAM with our hottest one. We had the white BAM on. They were all catching fish. Um, it's just a really, really great pattern. Um, obviously, it's one of the most proven patterns already, only being uh, a year in the Sam and Candy lineup um, that we've ever had and one of the most successful patterns that we've ever had. So we've added three new BAMs to the, to the lineup. I know there's a lot of guys out there that had a ton of success with that particular flasher pattern and are going to be really excited to get those. We are also adding uh, three more. So I think I was wrong. I said seven. There's eight new colors. So... Let's stop the music here. There's eight new colors of flashers. I said seven. I apologize. There's eight. Um, and we're adding three more colors to another new, another new series. Um, everybody probably met, remembers, or if you don't, uh, one of the new flashers for uh, 2022, along with the BAMs, was the Altis Green Stud UV. And that was a, a correlation of an old color that I developed years ago called the Altis um, UV. Uh, and we took the stud series and we took the Altis series from years ago and we mashed them together and we got that Altis green stud. Well, guess what? That thing was unbelievable. So we decided it's time to add three more colors to the Altis series. And we're going to start with Altis Lake O stud. So this is your, your chrome and black version. Uh, it's got the exactly, you know, similar to the, the Lake O stud. It's going to have your, you know, your, your black edge here instead of the black tape. It's gonna have your green ladder back. It's got the crush UV, but it's also got the special colored tape underneath it to give it that gold profile on the front. It's got the black with the UV tape on the back. So different than the Laco Stud, the Laco Stud's not gonna have this UV base like the uh, like the um, Altis does, and that's what really makes this different. So this is the first addition to the. Uh, to the you know the first new addition I should say to the Altis line we've got the green stud which was new last year we now got the Lake O stud this one probably goes out to my dad he's gonna love this one the most because he's a Mountain Dew freak um, and the second color that we're gonna add to the series is Altis Mountain Dew stud this thing is cool so you got your yellow edge here we got your blue ladder back you got your UV tape we've got some special tape underneath 
and then the, the UV solid or I mean a UV crush over the top. You got your UV back with the yellow. Yellow was good for a lot of guys last year. Um, I heard a lot of guys say that some of their old Michigan Stinger flashers and stuff were working in some yellow patterns. Salmon Candy needed some more yellow in their life. Um, we tested this Alti's Mount Dew stud, and it was really, really good. This was, you know, neck and neck with another uh, yellow flasher, or a chrome and yellow flasher that we will probably come out with at some point that Lily came up with. Uh, but this one won. Uh, at this point, and I'm super excited to add the Ulti's Mountain Dew Stud as a new for 2023 color. And last but not least, is it another flasher that uh, Jackson in particular had some great success with, and I've got some awesome pictures that I can't wait to share, uh, that when we were testing this thing, we just saw really, really good success, and that is the last addition to the new Ulti's, which is the Ulti's Blue Stud UV. Um, so this one obviously has the the blue edge on the top, it's got the green ladder and the crushed UV tape, uh, just like the blue stud, but it's on that UV base. Um, so it really has much different profile and look. It was a very, very good flasher when we tested it last year, in particularly in that late June, early July time frame, where we had really good success with like the Optimus Prime and Megatron and Blue Stud and all of those flashers. Um, this uh, Alti's Blue Stud UV uh, really fit in that mix really, really well. So when I'm talking program building and we're talking about, you know, figuring out that they want chrome and blue right now, you know, that Ulti's Blue Stud UV will be a new flasher that you'll be able to add into that chrome and blue mix along with Optimus Prime. Just like when we're talking black, you know, if black is what's working for you at the time, you know, um, which was the case for me uh, in August last year, black was really hot and you're trying to program build on some black stuff. You know, now you'll have that Russell Valium uh, that you'll be able to use. You'll have the song in the Black Bam, which is just incredible. Um, and you'll have that that Alti's Laco stud. So what we're trying to do here at Santa Canyon, what I've always tried to do is offer you patterns that allows you to continue to build that program and catch more kings on Lake Michigan, on Lake Ontario, more fish on Huron, Superior, etc. And I think everybody's going to be super excited about what we got coming for the 2023 series. Uh, price for price free season, excuse me. Um, what we're going to do on releasing new products in 2023 is each week we're going to come out with a new set of, you know, a set of new products um, and, and release them each week so it's not all at one time and overwhelming. And week one is the new 2023 8 inch flasher colors. I hope you're as excited as I am. Good luck and good fishing.